3G Capital, the notoriously aggressive and cutthroat private equity firm that has been praised by Buffett despite his more laissez-faire style, launches a hostile bid for his beloved Coca-Cola. So, <clears throat> I'm going to say that um, that Buffett actually backs 3G, uh, and I think that's for a couple reasons. So, um, number one, I think 3G is a phenomenal. Um, uh, outfit, uh, phenomenal leadership team. He's already partnered with them uh, at Kraft Heinz. Um, and then <clears throat> I, uh, I, I think that when you look at how, uh, w- when you look at the assets that Coca Cola has, they have vast distribution assets. I think 3G, just because they are a top management team, could probably do more with that. Um, this is all totally hypothetical, but you're making it sound like you look like you actually like thought about this, and you're like, wait a second, what could 3G Capital do with Coca-Cola? Yeah, absolutely, I have. <laughs> um, and then also there was, I think it was maybe two years ago when there was some slight disagreement that uh, Buffett had with uh, some uh, comp uh, discussions at Coca-Cola, specifically with equity options. So there's been, though it's a very long-term uh, relationship that he has with uh, Coca-Cola, I could see him uh, backing. 3G here, which would be uh, a, a diversion from what he has historically always done. So I, I agree with uh, both of your your premise that number one, um, Buffett really respects 3G, and I also agree that they would do a tremendous job if they were running Coca Cola. Uh, they're very sharp operators, uh, probably sharper than um, Howard Buffett, Warren's son, who's on the board of Coca Cola, who I, I understand is a good farmer, but I don't. Yes, he is. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't know if he has that much business qualifications, but I don't think Buffett would support a hostile deal. He's come out and said he doesn't support hostile deals. And one of the things Warren has sort of Tom Sawyer people into again is selling him businesses at lower rates than they could get from the highest bidder because he's created this what he describes as sort of uh, a museum and uh, where he'll take in your your family business and he won't. Uh, disrupt anything. He won't lay off the employees. He'll essentially give you the money, but still uh, allow you to retain the legacy of your family, which is often a business. And I think that's, he, he describes it in um, very optimistic terms, but essentially it's allowed him to do special deals mm-hmm. and he would want to maintain that. That's one of the things that really has generated a lot of value at Berkshire and I think will continue to generate value going forward.